Hi, it's Claude Larson coming from my studio. And I just wanted to share a couple of tips about collage, just to make your collage more interesting. Um, and maybe if you're not sure how to make compositions better, these are just some things I have discovered by doing lots and lots of collage and really examining it. So I have this one started. This is a Strathmore fluorescent white deco edge greeting card. And I just folded a piece of paper, inserted it in there so I wouldn't get a, end up getting like matte medium or adhesive or paint or anything else on the inside of the card because, um, you know, I'm going to use it as a card. So um, first thing is I have, I use matte medium, whatever your favorite adhesive is, you know, feel free. Um, some, just some comments I have about, this is a composition that I, I have going. And um, my first comment is if you're going to make a composition that you want to be very peaceful, you know, lining things up, making them all in the same orientation helps, whether that's horizontal, whether that's vertical. Um, if you want something that captures the attention and moves the eye around, it's a good idea to make things that are different sizes first, right? So this is, I guess, the biggest piece I have on there at the moment. This is tall and skinny, different orientation. This is a big, technically a shape, it's just an open shape, which allows you to see through. And um, this is just a very different mark from anything else that I have on here. This came from my summertime mark making video. I had a bunch of papers left over. So I have these sort of disparate things, but one of the things that makes the eye move around and captures the attention is if you don't put things in the middle. So for example, this, right, is closer, this black shape is closer to this side than it is to the decal edge. It is uneven. This does not cut through the center of the black shape. It's off to one side. This, again, offset, right? So even though it um, is sort of central on the five by seven, it has maybe an inch at the top and maybe more like two and a half inches at the bottom. So it doesn't slice this piece in the middle because the idea is if you want to keep the eye moving and you put everything even and square, it's not as interesting, it's not as engaging for the viewer. Now I understand I'm making just a greeting card, but these are principles that apply to most paintings. And if you look at how you look at things, um, something that is very monotonous does not hold your attention for as long as something that has places for the eye to go. So I'm gonna just uh, add the last couple things that I think I'm going to do to this. I don't know, we'll see, I could change my mind. And I just use a little matte medium. I put it where I'm going to put the piece of paper. And then I use an old catalog. Uh, it came in the mail. It's huge. It's like, I don't know, probably 300 pages and one page at a time. Now I could line this up so that the black goes right through the middle, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it so that there's more of this green circle below the black, which just makes it more interesting, right? Um, get that in place. And now another one of my free but useful materials is these are plastic sheets. If you have cereal or crackers, the, the wrapping that they come in, like nothing sticks to it. So I use it as a protection layer. And then I just put it down over what I have just collaged. And you can take an old like hotel key um, I'm, I happen to be using this catalyst wedge, but the reality is I used to do this 
before I treated myself to the catalyst wedge, I used to do this with old hotel keys, expired credit cards, uh, expired gift cards that I had already used. And I put the paper down, scrape over it, which gets all of the extra matte medium out. And then I just kind of wipe it with a paper towel. Now I know it's adhered. And notice I didn't go through the middle of the green circle. I also didn't pick a spot in the middle of the black box. If I had put it here, right, it would not have been as well placed, in my opinion, and if you like peaceful, quiet work, then, you know, center things, um, it makes it more interesting off to the side. Now, my next piece that I'm putting on here is I've punched the hole in here. Actually, I found this in the scrap pile. This is a very thin side. This is a little thicker. This is a little thicker. And this is even a little thicker. Only by a very small amount. But the eye can discern that. And so when I put it here, it makes just this little interesting thing at the bottom of my composition. Add a little matte medium to the area. Again, put this on the back and decide how I'm going to place this. Now I, whoops, like it like this. I'm gonna just put it right on there. And then I am going to, once again, use this plastic, I really don't know what kind of plastic this is. And you do have to be careful because once you start using it, you'll get matte medium on one side and it'll want to stick and pull up your work, which you don't want to have to redo. And again, I just scrape it down, pull it up, wipe off the excess. Now I have to say, just because this is a greeting card, not an expensive piece of art, I still like to you know, be particular about how I put it together. So um, that's a little bit about how I compose things. The other thing that I wanna mention here is that all of the shapes on here, they have been hand cut. So if I want something that is the edge of a, a straight edge, so let's say I wanted to cut something out of this, put that in the water, I could, do this. However, I've got this straight edge, mechanical straight edge. It sounds silly. You cut off the slightest little bit and the shape is better. It's just better. I don't know how else to say it. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is give this a little splatter of paint. I hear my family coming in upstairs, so I'm going to try and do this quick. Voila, my card is done. So just some tips on composition. Cut your edges. Don't use the machine paid, the machine cut, unless, and again, be discerning, unless you want that really, really straight edge. And if you do, leave it as is, but make it a choice. Don't make it um, a default, I guess. Just be discerning about how you do it. Okay, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much. Bye.